hello hello welcome back to my channel today i will be showing you how i made this bride and groom toasting flutes it's quite affordable and easy to make so let's get started so i will be using red and black ribbon for this specific look i'm also using one yard of white beaded bridal lace trim that i got at my nearest fabric store for the adhesive you can use the e6000 glue or if you have a hot glue gun that will work perfectly as well and finally you will need scissors to cut this and cut that <laughs> so now that all materials have been gathered it's time for show and tell <laughs> this is a process so bear with me before adding the actual glue onto the lace and on the glass i played around with the ribbon to know exactly where i needed to cut to avoid any patching around the glass and on the final look <laughs> so i really tried using the e6000 glue on this project but i failed according to the instructions i have to wait at least six to seven hours for the glue to do its magic and of course i couldn't wait so i just went on and used my hot glue gun <laughs> At this point, I'm already gluing because I had already measured the length of the trim. So, watch. <laughs> I am working my way up and gently pressing against the glue because first, I want to be able to dissolve the glue evenly on the cup and the trim. I am now starting from the top edge and as I did earlier, I measured everything before gluing it on so it could accommodate nicely against the glass. I did not want to cut the trim into a million pieces and then glue it individually. It just looks better and it looks whole by cutting longer strips this is how all that trim looks on the flute now I want somewhat of a mermaid look for the bottom so I'm going to create a little pom-pom I am rolling the tool one two three four five six seven times FYI my hand is quite small so it somewhat helped me create small loops instead of very large ones. I am cutting a 5 inch strip of tulle and will tie a knot around the center of the pom-pom. The tulle now looks like a bow so then I will slit each side through. I then added glue directly to the tool and then pressed it in between the base and the stem. Okay, I'm really loving how this is turning out. The final step for the bride's outfit is the ribbon. I will be cutting about 20 two inches of ribbon just in case it needs to be longer fyi my ribbon skills slash tying bow skills aren't the greatest so what you see is the best i could do <laughs> last but not least i'm making sure i cut the ribbon in an angle to make it look prettier it's groom time and for this I used a scrap of white fabric that I had in my stash and I traced around 
the bowl so I knew exactly what measurements I needed to create the illusion of the white dress shirt. I then cut the outline and I cut two of the strips because the fabric is very thin so I wanted something thicker so the stabilization would be better. The groom suit is somewhat easy. All I'm doing is wrapping the ribbon around the stem. I then measure the start and end around the bowl of the glass, cut the ribbon in those measurements, and then glue. Alright, so it's starting to look like a suit, but it's not a suit if it doesn't have a bow tie. So I'm just cutting up a piece of the red ribbon and then folding it here and folding it there to create a mini bow tie. I found this floral applique in my craft stash and thought it would make a good accessory for the suit. Okay everyone, this is the final look for the bride and groom champagne glasses. I really enjoyed doing this project. It is my first time creating such cute outfits. <laughs> if you ever want to do this tutorial, I hope this can help you. Thank you for watching and till next time.